So in today's video I am going to be building and painting a birdhouse, I think. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I actually have to make it, um, but I bought this kit and I'm just going to open it and see what's in it. Um, but basically you make a birdhouse. So let's have a look. So inside you get the birdhouse um, and all the stuff is inside. I'm not sure how it opens. It's like hinges on this little here, I think. It's like a little like clasp thing that opens up. So we have instructions, which I probably won't read. We have stickers, which I probably won't use. Um, we have paint that again, I probably won't use. And we have some little decorative fences and a paintbrush. But I'm sure we all know these paintbrushes are useless so I will just use my own but yeah that's everything you get in there so if you want to see me decorate this then keep on watching okay so the first thing I did was kind of just look over everything just got everything out of the inside the instructions and stickers and paints and all that um, I very quickly decided that I wasn't going to follow any of the instructions or use any of the stickers or anything um, obviously there is like a step-by-step -step instruction inside um, that is for like the birdhouse on the box um, but I didn't really want to make that so I went for something else instead. came in um, with the birdhouse I literally used the blue and the white to make like a pale blue obviously that you can see that I painted the majority of the birdhouse with um, and honestly as with most of these sets of course the brush was absolutely useless so I literally just used that to um, mix them up and then I threw that away um, and there was not enough paint at all um, like I say I mixed these two colors together and um, I mean it barely even covered the whole of the birdhouse and that was like two of my paints gone um, so if you wanted to use like one of those colors and didn't mix them together then you would have been you know you kind of wouldn't have been able to cover the whole of the birdhouse um, you would have been a little bit stuck because like I say I literally mixed the whole of the blue and the whole of the white together to make this so it was like two two pots basically together to be able to paint literally just like the front back and sides of it um, but anyway as I'm sure you can already see um, I'm a little bit behind here but I sketched out a daisy and I'm just painting it in now so I just blocked out the white areas you know like all the petals and um, just kind of blocked it out and then carried on adding petals um, as I was painting just as I sort of um, felt it needed it um, and I kind of wrapped it around the sides as well because I didn't want it just to be on the front I kind of wanted it to look like it was coming around the sides um, but I didn't want to like completely cover the sides hence why it just kind of wraps around a little bit um, but yeah I, I thought this was quite cute and quite um I don't know it just looks a little bit better than actually just putting like a daisy on the front I feel like the way I've positioned it um is a little bit more effective um so yeah like like I said I'm just blocking out the um white of the petals here um I actually ended up using my Winter and Newton acrylic paints um to do this just because the white um I did try it but there was like a tiny little bit of white left which I just wanted to try to see how it would actually come out um but you literally couldn't see it on top of the blue um so yeah clearly the paints that were inside were were great um but anyway moving on I used a Posca pen is that what they're called you know like the paint pens I used one of those a black one of those just to outline all of the petals and then I went in with another Winsor & Newton um, acrylic paint I went in with yellow um, just for the center and then used an orange pen to kind of create sort of the like speckled effect of um, pollen is it, is it pollen yeah pollen that's like inside the center of um, daisies and then I used a gold pen um, to put some details in um, 
you know sort of like the wrinkles and creases in in the petals but I didn't want to make it too realistic I kind of wanted it to be a little bit stylized hence why I kind of used um, a gold pen and obviously it's not particularly blended it's just kind of a few lines that come out of the center um, and I was originally going to leave it as just a few lines coming out of the center but once I'd finished it I kind of thought mm, I don't know it doesn't it's not really speaking to me there's there's something here that's like missing um, and I realized that I think it would have just looked better if there was lines coming from the outside as well to kind of give the effect that that's what the whole petal looks like and the you know the indents and the creases in the whole petal um, so I went and did that for all of them and it definitely turned out better afterwards in my opinion um, than when I didn't do those um, and I was going to leave it there um, and, but I was really undecided as to what to do with the roof and while I was deciding I also decided that I wanted to put something on the back because the back was quite plain so I settled for a ladybird so I just drew a little ladybird um, obviously I, could, I, I did think about doing a bee um, but I settled on a ladybird instead um, so yeah I'm just painting the red wings of the ladybird here and then as you can see like the outline there um, that I'm now painting is like the head and then I just outlined um, the wings and the little like antennas with um, the Posca and then did some um, spots on it as well you know obviously ladybirds have the little spots on them so I just did three on one side and two on the other um, because the third one obviously they're symmetrical on ladybirds so the other one you wouldn't be able to see I mean they're not fully symmetrical in this but yeah and then I added two little white eyes and then a couple little highlights and then I decided to pop in some golden like circles because I just thought it didn't you know there wasn't really much to it um, and I didn't want to I didn't want to draw too much wildlife on there so I decided to go for some uh, circles to kind of go around the ladybird um, which as you can see they get smaller um, the more they go round and they sort of curve round um, the ladybird as well um, so I just did these with um, a gold metallic pen at some point going to do a review on these pens just a little side note um, because yeah uh, I bought a set of them they're literally from B&M and just from this video alone I actually really like them um, I've not actually used them that much I filmed this one a little while ago and I bought the pens a similar time um, hence why sort of like the intros and outros are a bit different to what my intros and outros are now because um, it was filmed a little while ago um, but I haven't really had a chance to get around to using those pens um, but I'm gonna set aside some time to do a, de a dedicated video to those um, because I actually do really like them so keep an eye out for that um, and as you can see here I just painted the roof brown um, I had to do a couple layers over um, a few bits just because it went a little bit um, sort of patchy uh, and then just on the edges I went in with some gold paint um, just to kind of finish the edges off I didn't want to do the edges sort of that brown color because I just thought it would um, I don't know make it a little bit too dark um, and I thought the gold around the edge would fit in quite nicely with the yellow in the middle of the daisy um, so I just went round and did that on all of the edges and then I don't think I filmed it but I did it on the inside lid as well the bit that lifts up um, and then the final thing that I did was instead of using sandpaper I literally just used a nail file to go over and sand off all the rough bits of wood um, just where you know it was sticking out a little bit just to make it look a little bit more finished um, and yeah that was the final birdhouse and I'm definitely really really happy with it so this is the final finished birdhouse so I just put a daisy on the front and then a little ladybird on the back and then on the top of that. Um, yeah, then just brown roof, gold sides, and then just plain in the inside. You can see. Um, I think so. My dad's building a bar, and I think I'm going to display it in there somewhere rather than actually using it as a birdhouse. Um, but obviously, at the minute, I haven't varnished it. I'm kind of undecided if I'm going to or not. Um, but I'll let you know if I did or not. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and come back for more. Bye.